Hi everyone, very good afternoon guys. I hope I am audible and visible to all of you. Can I get a quick confirmation in the chat box please? And uh, we can start with the session right away. So first and foremost, before I begin, this is going to be a very quick session for 10 images. So we'll try to wrap up uh, as soon as possible. You just have to identify and tell me some important questions. But before that, also, I just wanted to inform you that uh, only applicable for these three days. So today happens to be the last day. You just can avail something known as a seven day free trial, provided you start that trial by the end of today. So you will be applicable to get a seven day free trial of all the videos that are available on the platform, be it the live classes or be it even the recorded ones the vitals so that is only if you just download the app and you just uh, you know just enroll into it you don't have to pay anything and you will have access for a seven day trial so anyone who's been wanting to see any one batch any one set of classes any one weak point of yours and you know you were not wanting to take up the entire subscription for the same i think this is the best time to avail that right okay on that note let's begin with today's class 10 images let's keep a target of uh, say to 15 minutes and let's wrap it up up super quickly yes and if you have any queries regarding this uh, free seven day trial i can address that at the end of the session also let's get going previous year aims question all time favorite all time expected quick answer uh, i'm not telling you the organ because the organ is also somewhere written in this image or is present glaring at you in this image this happens to be the intestine why is it the intestine because i can see the present of presence of goblet cells intestine yes and i've got the answer everyone's saying it's cryptosporin how did we identify cryptosporidium because you will always see cryptosporidium along the brush border like you can see these dot dot organisms along the brush border that's the rule that you have to follow tell me quickly the drug of choice for cryptosporidium you although this is a pathology image but i've told you the drug in the microbio classes a lot and i've always told you that when i'm dealing with crypto you have to think of cryptocurrency and you have to think of nita ambani right you know that famous mnemonic which you guys used to laugh over Yes, Nita's oxanide. Nita's oxanide is the drug that we are gonna give. Very, very good. Sabko yaad hai. Image number one is done. So yes, this is coming to image number two. Again, these are spotters. They don't require any history. If a history is given in the exam, bonus for us. But usually these are classical spotters. Very good. What's the answer over here? What is this particular thing that you see? Something to do with a lot of red blood cells. So it's definitely a hematozoa. Very good. Everyone says band form. If you're saying band form what form exactly is it band form is actually what trophozoid schizon gametocyte so band form is nothing but a ring it's nothing but a ring or a trophozoid but it's not looking like a ring why because the ring was supposed to look like this and now it's been squeezed squeezed it's been crushed so the ring is now looking like a band that's why we call it band form and we've always learnt it as mala band mala band means that plasmodium malaria is going to show you the band form so mala band sabko yaad hai very very good very good everyone is also dr arun is also saying that this is associated with some kidney manifestation correct plasmodium malaria is associated with a kidney complication and that is going to be necrotic syndrome perfectly put up definitely yes now that you told me all this malaria quickly because the exam is coming up you know plasmodium one question is quite characteristic let's look at the vivax and the falciparum jaldi se so when i'm talking about plasmodium vivax i know there's a ring form there's a schizont and there's a gametocyte how do you identify the way you write vivax is going to tell you everything about vivax means the ver ver will tell you one one there is one ring and one dot you get to see one ring and you get to see one dot inside it so one ring one dot ver ver okay then when they ask you schizont schizont everyone has a novel round schizont but what are those dots inside it known as the dots inside it are referred to as the merozoids now coming to the gametocyte how is the gametocyte again the ver ver sound has to come so what kind of a gametocyte it is an oval gametocyte again macro and micro we i've already told you in the last class that jo macro hota hai that is the female and micro is the male because females have to be given more importance to macro is the female and micro is the male very good meanwhile when you, if i ask you i'm not seen in the photo but vivax shows you which dots something that we did in the last class i had asked you vivax 
impact shows you which dots microscopically shuffler i told you a mnemonic also to learn this that is shuffling why why exam mein hamesha shuffling hoga to shuffler's dots are going to be seen very good this was by wax what about plasmodium falciparum now in plasmodium falciparum ring dikhega gametocyte dikhega you will not see any schizont why will you not see any schizont in the blood schizont exists but schizont is not going to be seen in the blood why because schizont of this has gone and gotten stuck somewhere it has gone and gotten stuck in the brain because this causes what this causes cerebral malaria right so now tell me that since plasmodium falciparum causes brain involvement cerebral in malaria how does it stick to the brain blood vessels yes very good dr princey has also answered it it sticks to the brain blood vessels via i cam 1 in fact in the entire path and medicine there are two three questions which i quickly want all of you to answer regarding i cam then i'll come back to this picture you know there are previous year questions number 1 who attaches to i cam 1 plasmodium falciparum which virus attaches to i cam 1 i think everyone knows the only virus question that you get for i cam is rhinovirus these are the microbio questions falciparum will attach to i cam rhinovirus will attach to i cam what is the pathology question i cam is going to be binding to what beta which integrin guys beta which integrin so yes i think uh, very good i started getting answers it is going to bind to beta 2 integrins very very good theek okay, hai so these are all the i cam questions nothing beyond it is ever going to be asked so coming back this is plasmodium falciparum schizon to nahi dikhega i'll only see rings and gametocyte rings i know many many rings and many many dots and you all know what is this margin wala dot known as margin wala dot is known as the acol or the aplique form right whereas coming to the gametocytes in the gametocytes i think we have already studied that there are two types of gametocytes male and female and i gave you a mnemonic last time so there's no confusion females keep everything very well organized sab kuch bahut organized hai so this must be female gametocyte male keeps everything very scattered so that is going to be a male gametocyte last time humne padha tha that is why i am not repeating it everyone knows the identification what i am expecting in the exam this time is mala band malaria band form show karta hai now one more thing i'm talking so much about rings tell me that one organism where a tetrad of rings is seen that also we did to so pura ring ring related things is done that tetrad of ring is going to be seen in the very very famous babesia right so now babesia related kya kya questions aayenge firstly tetrad 1 2 3 4 what is this known as this is known as the maltese cross appearance next question that i want to ask you there are a lot of babesias but we are usually talking about babesia microti what is it about babesia microti that you have to know i have already told you babesia microti ko thoda sa divide karna padega means what number 1 it is going to show you m for what it is going to show you m for maltese cross appearance right maltese cross appearance next to mi overall the disease that it causes is a mild disease it's not a very severe disease that is caused very good roti say you will learn rati what rati because one of the reservoirs that it has is involvements of rats and rodents and finally you will learn t what is t t tells me the vector it is transmitted by what it is transmitted by the hard exoded tick ti for tick is what is important for you to know ho gaya khatam everyone's clear so maltese cross appearance then there is mild disease then there is going to be rot for rat and then there is ti for tick perfect that shows you this maltese cross appearance coming to image number 3 quickly let me uh, know the answer for this what is the answer for image 3 there is some parasite of course everyone can see and i've got you the microbio image also and i've got you the pathology image also to integrate karke bata do and this is something you've seen in your last year ini ct exam as well yes this is enterobius vermicularis how did you identify because ma'am the image that you've given is that of an adult worm when i'm talking about an adult worm of enterobius i can see these projections these projections are known as cuticular ala so now when the pathology slide was given ab these are adult worms how do you know which is male and which is female i've always given you one hint for identifying male versus female of any parasite and that is jo male ka posterior end hoga that is going to be coiled male is always going to have some problem in the posterior end so the posterior end is going to be coiled therefore this is male and the other one becomes female very very good now the same thing if i cut it 
ट्रांसफर्स अगर यहां से कट कर दिया लाइक दिस एंड नाउ आई लुक एट इट ओवर हियर यू विल सी येस आई कैन सी द सेम प्रोजेक्शन आई कैन सी द क्यूटिकुलर एल ए सो दिस इज अम्पल टेकन फ्रॉम द अपेंडिक्स वाई अपेंडिक्स बिकॉज एंटरओबियस वर्मी क्यूलरिस गोज इन टू द वर्मी फॉर्म अपेंडिक्स तो ये अपेंडिसाइटिस का सैंपल है this was simple but now this was about the adult worms if they have to tell you about the eggs quickly let's identify enterobius vermicularis ka egg everyone remembers is a d shape egg what is the concept of a d shape egg one side is plain one side is convex plano convex egg and what is that line inside it that line inside it is going to be the tadpole larva right so remember we given a mnemonic for this also d shape egg kiska hota hai d for the shape and e for enterobius vermicularis but did i tell you that this egg is not seen in the stool sample where is this egg seen this egg is seen in the perianal region you will always get a perianal pruritus ka history when they want to tell you this egg how will you pick it up from the perianal region either you will pick it up with the help of a swab or you will pick it up with the help of a वेरी गुड तो या तो हम एन आई एच स्वैब यूज करेंगे और वी विल पुट अप अच टेप मेथड एवरी वन रिमेंबर्स दिस ऑल्सो वेरी गुड सो इन द लास्ट क्लास इफ यू रिमेंबर आई मेड यू डू दी एग्स टूडे आई रिपीटेड दी एग्स एंड आई क्लब इट विद अडल्ट वर्म ऑल्सो विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो दाउ एंटर ओबियस इज टोटली डन फॉर यू कमिंग टू इमेज नंबर फोर एनिमल का आइडेंटिफिकेशन दैट कैन ऑल्सो कम इन द पेपर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस दिस वन पर्टिक्युलर एनिमल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दैट इज गोन बी द you can count also you will find nine bands over here so this is the yes very good leprosy wala leprosy wala matlab nine banded armadillo so that is exactly what i wanted to ask you that nine banded armadillo is basically for the isolation of lepra bacillus because for every other organism there is a blood agar culture agar and all of that but for lepra you know that it cannot be cultured so lepra ke liye you are going to get two three very classical questions let me just finish them off number 1 when you are using zn stain what percentage of h2so4 will you use how much h2so4 do we use in zn stain so we always learned that lepra has five alphabets and i will be using 5% h2so4 and that 5% wala variety is known as what stain that is known as the fight for aco stain so we learned a very simple method that lepra also has five alphabets 5% is the h2so4 and the name of the stain is also something fight five that sort of sounding question one is done question number 2 you have told me how are you going to grow it in a nine banded armadillo no culture media but an animal foot pad of mice or nine banded armadillo question number 3 and the last one that i want to ask you is there any immuno modulator vaccine that is available which could come as a question in the exam any immuno modulator vaccine for leprosy which is important for you to know you just need to know from what is that vaccine made For, from what is that vaccine made? Meanwhile, Dr. Rahul, you were asking me for Nocardia. Nocardia Legionella के लिए one percent होता है, right? Yes, very good. Everyone started asking immuno modulator vaccine for leprosy is made from Mycobacterium indicus prani. Basically, I'll write it down for those who have not heard it. It is Mycobacterium indicus prani is the one that is going to basically be used for the making of the lepra bacillus vaccine, and that is known as the MW vaccine. You must have seen this in the previous year. So simple पूछेंगे. What is MW vaccine? MW is Mycobacterium indicus prani used हुआ था and it is a vaccine that has been prepared for leprosy. Very good. PYQ done. That was image number four. Now we come to image number five. There are three pictures given. You have to tell me what is the common use. And I'm sorry if there is any background noise disturbance. Not under my control. The weather in Delhi is really is good, but from noise point of view it's not so good because it's raining very very heavily so yes um just bear with that slight disturbance in the background that is there okay so what is this guys image number 5 what is that common commonality between them yes all of them are very well first is mekonki second one is clad ye third wala which you don't study too much and i got it for inict purposes lactose fermentation is something which is common to all so like all of you said the first wala is mekonki what is the color that you get with mekonki i've already high lighted it for lactose fermentation you're going to get a pink color what is the color that you get for clad with clad as i have highlighted it you are going to get a yellow color and what is this third one emb blood agar eosin methylene blue blood agar this is also a kind for lactose fermentation and you can see kuch black black color ka lines hai that is not important what is important is the green color sheen around it 
देर आर सम ब्लू ब्लैक कॉलोनीज बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली ईओसिन मेथिलीन ब्लू यूज करा था तो कुछ ब्लू ब्लैक कॉलोनीज है बट वॉट यू नीड टू नो इज द ब्लैक इज द ग्रीन कलर शीन दैट इज प्रेजेंट अराउंड इट दैट वुड बी द आई एन आई सी टी एग्जाम क्वेश्चन एंड नाउ दैट यू टोल्ड मी ऑल के अच्छा चलो मैम इन सब में लैक्टोज फर्मेंटेशन होने वाला है इज वॉट इज द कॉमनैलिटी कैन यू टेल मी ऑल द लैक्टोज फर्मेंटर्स दैट यू हैव इन बैक्टीरियोलॉजी सो प्रोटीस इज नॉट अ लैक्टोज फर्मेंटर वॉट आर लैक्टोज फर्मेंटर आई हाईलाइटेड ना कैसे लिखा लैक्टोज में के आई हैव बीन एम्फोसाइजिंग अ लॉट बिकॉज यू नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट एवरी वेयर द के साउंड is emphasized e coli klebsiella even some minor organisms like enterobacter and citrobacter so make sure that the organism that you are seeing or saying in the exam has a k sound to it e coli klebsiella enterobacter citrobacter so someone asked me ma'am what about salmonella shigella proteus unme k k k nahi aata to don't put them under lactose fermenters is that okay but out of all the k k k ones are lactose fermenter but which is the only one which is a late lactose fermenter? fermenter that could be one miss you know an exception over there very good late lactose fermenter mam jo late soke utha late soke utha is shigella soni shigella soni late soke utha so that is how you are going to learn it otherwise all the kk ones have to be coming up here so commonality everyone's understood these are all lactose fermenters now what kind of culture media are they are they enriched culture media selective culture media differential culture media ye tino kya hai what are they varieties of they are number one differential culture media Why differential because they are all telling me differences lactose fermentation hai ya nahi hai so they are all differential plus they are mildly selective also plus they are mildly selective also so mildly selective is something that is uh, going to make sure that only the mildly because mainly gram negative grow karta hai but in cled and some others gram positive can also grow so i'll call them mildly selective they are selecting out gram negative organisms and all of them showed me a color change color change matlab they are also gonna be indicator media simple as that so they are differential plus selective plus indicator media that has been a previous year question and i want you to revise it once again i hope everyone's understood this as well someone in between said emb for serocytosis nahi i think you got confused wo hota exam time coming na all things will start similar sound similar this is eosin methylene blue blood agar what you are talking about for spherocytosis in pathology is eosin 5 malamide assay eosin 5 malamide assay which is ema testing that is a dye that is totally different but sunne mein same same hai so i hope you guys are, are not getting confused yes dr vishwas now the query is sorted right wo alag hai eosin 5 malamide test okay so image number uh, Five is also done. Image number six is in front of you. Even you, if you are smart enough, you can read the organism also that is written. Enteropathogenic E. coli. You just need to know because this was a previous year question in 2019 again. What is this picture showing you? E. P. E. C. Mat bolo. E. P. E. C. is written over here. What you have to tell me is what. attachment effacement lesions exactly these are attachment effacement lesions so there are two kind of questions that could come either they last you uh, you know from theory point of view attachment effacement lesions are seen in what so remember enteropathogenic e coli p for p yeah then what does enteropathogenic e coli cause it causes ma'am p for p that is going to be pediatric diarrhea it causes pediatric or in other words you can also call it infantile diarrhea and now you should be knowing that infants and kids infants and kids are the ones with whom we get very very attached so attachment effacement lesion will be seen with enteropathogenic e coli with kids with infants right how does it cause tell me one more question how does enteropathogenic e coli cause pediatric diarrhea is there any virulence marker that you have to know again a p that is coming up your way and that is going to be bundle forming pili p for bundle forming pili they will ask you how is bundle forming pili coded is it chromosomally mediated is it plasmid mediated to so, ma'am sab kuch p p p chalega this bundle forming pili is going to be 
plasmid mediated now the entire theory is also settled so attachment effacement lesions kids ke sath attachment pediatric or infantile diarrhea pathogenic e coli bundle forming pili causes it and that is going to be plasmid mediated image number 6 is also done moving on to image 7 quickly classical but very very important what has been shown in these two picture you have to identify both a as well as b both images have to be identified and i guess i can see some answers coming up this though i think even in your sleep even if someone blindfold you you will know that still what has been shown in front of me is fried egg appearance yes and fried egg appearance ke sath ye kya dala hai what is this stain that has been added added over here pplo agar mycoplasma very good i got the answer so yes this is a fried egg colony but why did i say fried egg colony of mycoplasma only because i realized that sabse pehle to examiner will ask me for the agar so the agar on which my mycoplasma grows is the pplo agar but these colonies are so small dekho mycoplasma organism also is very very small na colonies these eggs are also very very small so i will have to add some color onto them to see them which have got the stain very very good the name of the stain is referred to as the dyne's stain so dyne stain ka picture bhi diya tha because many of you just looking at fried egg you started answering it as uh, malassezia furfur ho sakta hai malassezia furfur also shows you fried egg colony but they given you something additionally along with it and that is the dyne stain so club the two together and definitely now this is a case of mycoplasma i am saying dyne stain i am not saying dyne phenomena because i believe everyone is aware that dyne phenomenon is seen with something totally different very very good dyne phenomenon is seen with proteus very good so bas dhyan se padhna in the exam exam going students what dyne has been mentioned dyne stain has been mentioned or dyne phenomenon has been mentioned clear cut image number 8 three more images to go come on image number 8 you can see everything written and disease so you will identify within a second tell me the name of the technique what technique or what thing has been shown in front of you classical it could be asked in path it, yes it could be asked in micro also very good i've got the answer it is a gel card testing now that you've told me gel card testing actually these are two gel cards can you tell me the diagnosis for these first three columns what is this a case of is he a normal person is he a, a diseased person is he some carrier person what is your take on these first three columns this is one patient what is your answer guys i can see some merl and daf and control written okay and every one is written pnh uh, okay uh, only dr mission md mission md has given us the right answer what did you guys do very nicely you said ki ma'am merl and daf likha hai daf matlab chhota wala number matlab cd55 and merl means cd59 as soon as ma'am you asked me questions on cd55 and 59 the disease coming to my mind is paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria now i started getting right answers again did you read what was written in the question did you read the analysis i tell you one thing what is the analysis of gel card going to be if you get a line at the top टॉप वाला लाइन का क्या मतलब होता है टॉप को उल्टा पढ़ो इट मीन्स पॉजिटिव टॉप मीन्स पॉजिटिव एंड वेन अ लाइन कम्स नीचे नीचे मीन्स बॉटम वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ नीचे नीचे मीन्स नेगेटिव नाउ टेल मी वन थिंग वेन यू सिंग पेरोक्सिजमल नॉक्टर्नल हिमोग्लोबिन यूरिया सी डी फिफ्टी फाइव एंड फिफ्टी नाइन हैव टू बी नेगेटिव देन यू कॉल इट अ केस ऑफ पी एन एच यहाँ पर तो सी डी फिफ्टी फाइव एंड सी डी फिफ्टी नाइन आर टॉप टॉप मीन्स पॉजिटिव दिस मीन्स दिस वॉज प्रॉबेबली अ नॉर्मल पर्सन You just don't read the markers and start giving me answers. At least do the interpretation. Ha! Huh? If I would have asked you for the next case, look at this over here, ma'am. Line niche hai. Matlab this is negative. Line niche hai. This is negative. This is probably a case of paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. So guys, don't do this error in the paper that you just read markers and start giving your answers because we get a little excited that wow, I know this answer. I've read it. I read it 72 hours before the exam. So pakka aata hai. That pakka can cause Cost you a lot in the exam. Don't be overconfident. Even if you've seen that previous year question a million times before, you still have to follow the same protocol. That babies, ki tarah starting se kindergarten se start karte karte graduation tak you have to come. That is the rule of the exam. Otherwise, overconfidence costs you a lot. Okay, so don't worry. 
uh, someone mentioned uh, with this right question someone's written about uh, anxiety which is as i said now come on it's third today your exam is coming up anxiety is but obvious to crawl in uh, alongside no one can stop it no matter what i also counsel you or tell you it's really not gonna stop it the only thing is you have to do a lot of self talk and self counseling at this point of time you are the only one who can calm your nerves you know how to calm your nerves coffee works for some coffee is going to be added on to the anxiety for the others self talk is going to work for some for others it's going to end up in a bout of crying so this is just very very a customized phase of your life that you entered you know what works for you i know what works for my anxiety and i always do that when my anxiety kicks in for some people you should never ever have coffee if you're feeling anxious for me i have coffee and i feel so calm in life so everyone's body just reacts in a very different way you just need to find out what works for you if going out for a quick 5 minute walk works for you if talking on the phone works for you people say don't go through social media some people get their stress buster through scrolling through instagram i mean it's very very personal just keep all your sanity and your things that keep you sane keep them aside keep them with you that's about it and you just need to focus on it don't listen to what others are saying but jo apne liye kaam kar rahe wo karo that is how you survive through the last one week of the exam survival is the key and survival is all that you have to do yaad aa jayega but just keep going don't let a mental breakdown stage come just keep surviving right okay uh, someone just said that uh, keep uh, okay changing the this please one more thing don't get into this username and spamming thing so much happening over youtube and so much happening over uh, telegram of lately no teacher is messaging you no teacher is calling you no teacher is asking for codes and uh, screenshots and what all please just don't fall for the trap it's just wasting a lot of your time <laughs> right chalo coming back this was gel ka testing as i told you this is a normal case the second one where negative niche niche tha that was probably a case of pnh but now why did i i keep using the word probably probably why because is jelka testing a screening method or a definitive method i kept saying probably probably because this is a screening method what is the diagnosis of choice that is of course going to be flow cytometry and flare the confirmatory diagnosis is going to be flow cytometry and flare but ha screening jaldi wala test is going to be the jelka test right moving on to almost i will take up all your queries just two more images and we are done for today's session image number 9 in front of you there is one blood cell given there is a special stain given can you identify this cell and the stain it's a classical blood cell where everything is looking very very blue black blue black to ye blue black wala kya hota hai very good ma'am the blue black wala blood cell is always a basophil and if you are dealing with a basophil the special stain for basophil is going to be toluidine blue so number 1 the previous year question was toluidine blue is used for staining basophils and is used for also staining mast cells that is one question so which leukemia do you think they are going to give you when they want you to identify basophils basophils ma'am is a leukemia which is cml cml mein basophils hota hai so they will give me a history of cml cml matlab massive splenomegaly wala history and they will say that oh how do i count the basophils basophils by toluidine blue question number 2 anywhere in microbiology that they are going to catch up toluidine blue remember a mnemonic called tim toluidine blue iodine malachite green kaun sa wala stain tha very good and that is going to be albert stain albert stain for which bacteria for corini bacterium diphtheria over there also they use the toluidine blue you can remember toluidine blue is what family of stains anyone last question toluidine blue is said to be a metachromatic stain what do i mean by metachromatic stain two faced कलर क्या है मैम कलर तो ब्लू है इट शुड लुक ब्लू इन कलर बट इंस्टेड ऑफ लुकिंग ब्लू इन कलर व्हाट इज द कलर दैट इट्स गिविंग टू द सेल्स इट्स गिविंग अ पर्पल कलर टू द सेल्स सो दिस मींस टू फेस्ट है इट हैज अ डिफरेंट कलर एंड इट्स गोना शो अ डिफरेंट कलर इट्स द टॉपर ऑफ योर क्लास हु सेज आई हैव नॉट स्टडीड एनीथिंग बट इज गोना टॉप ऑन द डे ऑफ द एग्जाम टॉलीडीन ब्लू इज दैट टॉपर ठीक है अलग अलग कलर इट हैज अ ब्लू कलर इट्स गोना शो अ ग्रीन इट्स गोना शो अ पर्पल कलर ठीक है ब्लू एंड पर्पल का डिफरेंस होता है फाइन दैट वाज इमेज नंबर Nine, one use in pathology, one use in microbiology. Coming to image number ten, you have everything written in front of you. You have to tell me two questions. Tell me the name of this technique first of all. Which technique has been shown? Because this BCR ABL fusion, so everyone has read. You know the leukemia. Okay, all of you are saying fish. I agree. If you told me fish, can you tell me in what phase do you do fish? 
प्रोफेज मेटाफेज एनाफेज टीलोफेज इंटरफेज कौन से फेज में फिश करते हैं प्रेफरेबल फेज एंड दैट फेज इज गोइंग टू बी द इंटरफेज वेरी गुड नाउ एज सुन एज एस एड बी सी आर ए बी एल फ्यूजन ऑल ऑफ यू यू कैन सी ना नाउ यू डोंट हैव टू लर्न दीज कलर कोडिंग्स प्लीज एग्जामिनर ने लिखा है बी सी आर हैज बीन गिवेन अ ग्रीन कलर ए बी एल हैज बीन गिवेन अ रेड कलर तो दिस ग्रीन कलर इज गोन बी बी सी आर एंड दैट रेड कलर इज गोन बी ए बी एल तो ये तो नॉर्मल है बट हियर आई कैन सी द ग्रीन एंड द रेड हैव फ्यूज इन ऑल ऑफ देम आई कैन सी द बी सी आर ए बी एल फ्यूजन हैज बेसिकली अकर तो बी सी आर ए बी एल फ्यूजन इज सीन वेर ऑल वेरी कन्वीनियंट एवरीवन एसेट सीएमएल सीएमएल इजी इजी वे नो वन वांटेड टू आस्क मी बीसीआर एबीएल फ्यूजन का वेट क्या है मैम इज इट 190 किलो डाल्टन और इज इट प्लस 20 मतलब 210 किलो डाल्टन और इज इट अनदर प्लस 20 दैट इज 230 किलो डाल्टन दिस नो वन आस्क्ड मी नाउ यू स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग ऑन दोस लाइंस सो यू ऑल रिमेंबर द निमोनिक इट हैज टू गो अल्फाबेटिकली ये हमारे फेवरेट बुक फर्स्ट एड का फेवरेट निमोनिक है एलएमएन व्हाट इज एलएमएन यू हैव टू थिंक ऑफ एलएमएन इन द असेंडिंग ऑर्डर so 190 kilo dalton is seen in ALL 210 is seen in CML and 230 is seen in CNL so remember 190 then 210 then 230 plus 20 20 karte jao and that is going to be LMN so from this picture before you jumped on to the diagnosis of CML directly maybe you should have asked or read in the question that what is the weight of this fusion protein that is given by chance no fusion protein weight has given then to apna फेवरेट आंसर सीएमएल सिलेक्ट करके आना बिकॉज मोस्ट और मोस्ट लाइकली एग्जामिन वॉन्टिंग टू टेस्ट यू ऑन एन इजी क्वेश्चन बट इफ द वेट इज गिवन सिट बैक एंड थिंक फॉर अ मिनट राइट right okay so that is already settled and image number 10 is also done and we are done with the quick session for the day uh, on these techniques dr clostridium we have already had a session pcr genetics uh, the different types of uh, fish i have conducted a session by the name of genetic techniques that is available on the an academy special classes you can definitely go through that and yeah so um, yeah we can see that we have students changing usernames and coming back again as i said ignore anyone who's trying to do that this is not the time agar hamare paas 6 8 months hote to we would have also sat back and had fun and chatted and interacted and just had entertainment in our life we don't have any time for entertainment in our life to abhi bas ignore karo theek hai chalo having said that uh, i hope you guys are studying well and you are not focusing on anything that is happening on the side it is something that you just just have to be very very tunnel vision horses vision you just have to focus on your target and not your schedule for the day is day to day socho day to day bhi nahi ho raha usse bhi anxiety ho raha hai half half day socho hourly socho but think in very small boxes you don't have to think what will i be doing 48 hours from now वैसा सोचोगे यू विल वेस्ट फोर्टी एट आर्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ जस्ट थिंक ओके इट्स वन थर्टी वॉट एम आई गोर डू टिल टू थर्टी लेट मी सर्वाइव टिल टू थर्टी एंड देन आई प्लान फॉर वॉट आई हैव टू डू टिल थ्री थर्टी सो जस्ट सर्वाइव फॉर वन वन टू टू आर्स एंड लाइक दैट यू जस्ट हैव टू कीप पुशिंग योर सेल्फ राइट टिल द डे ऑफ द एग्जाम एंड ऑल ऑफ अस आर ऑब्वियसली विद यू इन दिस जर्नी बट येस इट इज यू हू हैज टू यू नो गो थ्रू इट फर्स्ट हैंड एंड यू हू हैज टू गो थ्रू ईच फेज ऑफ इट ईच अप एंड डाउन वी आर ओनली दैट टू सपोर्ट बट इट्स यू हू इज एक्चुअली गोन फील एवरीथिंग दैट्स गोन happen in this part of your journey so i can just say that you need to keeping your if you get too anxious abhi panicky you leave your books and you say i'm only going to watch netflix it is somewhere not the wisest thing to do because you have put in so much of hard work and this hard work is not just these 30 40 days hard work goes even before neat pg you put in sleepless nights ab end mein aakar aise 6 days 5 days mein you start saying i'm feeling ang- anxious panicky i'm going to leave everything i don't want to give this exam this is a waste of time negativity will just be counter productive for you guys right so you don't want that to happen right yeah everyone keep remembering all your mnemonics h nana i told you how you have to be h nana limited limited padte raho but keep surviving till the end you will come out victorious so you have to be very very uh, concise in your approach option bhi nahi hai ab to 5 6 days mein kaun kya karoge concise na hoke 4 5 days mein what what all other option do you have you have to be concise in your approach right so uh, i can see some of you ha huh, parasitical life cycles is exactly the next thing that i'm coming up in a day or two i'm coming up two sessions coming up one is going to be the parasitical ultra 
क्विक सेशन नथिंग दैट आई एम गोना टीच बस जल्दी जल्दी जैसे कहते हैं ना फ्लिप थ्रू पेजेस काइंड ऑफ अ सेशन सो फ्लिप थ्रू द लाइफ साइकिल्स काइंड ऑफ अ सेशन विल कम अप टूमोरो और डे आफ्टर एंड आई ट्राई माई बेस्ट इन टूमोरो बिकॉज फिफ्थ को एनी वे आई एम प्लानिंग अ वन लाइनर सेशन विच इज अगेन आई यू नो फॉर नीट पी जी वन लाइनर यू गाइज हैव ऑलरेडी अटेंडेड अ टू एंड अ हाफ आवर सेशन विद मी पैथ माइक्रो मिलाकर सो वन डे बिफोर द एग्जाम आई एम नॉट गो ना वेस्ट टू थ्री आवर्स ऑफ योर लाइफ आई एम जस्ट गो ना गिव यू हंड्रेड वन लाइनर्स फिफ्टी पैथ फिफ्टी माइक्रो एंड जेन्यनली ओनली फ्रॉम आई एन आई सी टी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू नथिंग एक्स्ट्रा नथिंग दैट वी रिपीटेड इट्स गोना बी वेरी वेरी फोकस टू अर्स आई एन आई सी टी एंड वेरी छोटा मतलब क्वेश्चन वन वर्ड फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स वी विल ट्राई दैट हंड्रेड वन लाइनर्स हम सिक्सटी मिनट्स में खत्म कर दें दैट इज माई टाइम लाइन बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू वेस्ट एनी आई वॉन्ट टू कीप थिंग्स इन एज मच एज अ शॉर्ट टाइम कंस्ट्रेंट एज पॉसिबल रेबिडिटी फॉर्म लार्वा पूछ रहे कोई बात नहीं दैट्स वेरी सिंपल आई विल टेल यू दैट वन वी डू द लाइफ साइकिल और लाइफ साइकिल में रेबिडिटी फॉर्म लार्वा आ जाएगा ठीक है right okay someone just said that you love micro that is the biggest biggest compliment and uh, i don't know whether i've done a good deed or not by making someone love microbiology but if till the exam you feel that i think that's a good thing after the exam if you will ever come back to me and say that ma'am i love microbiology i would be a little worried about you but till the exam if you're saying that i i'm very happy about it okay thank you so much for joining in repeating for the students who came in a little late if you uh, just download the app before today and just enroll in it you can get a 7 day free uh, trial which means you don't have to pay anything 7 days jo jo topic aisa tough lag raha tha week tha which you just wanted that you know this one topic i wanted to take up an academy or wanted to take up mams lectures or any one's lectures this is the golden time for you to finish it up if you want to if you want to keep a target honestly i would tell you path and micro 7 days mein khatam kar sakte ho kar lo i mean it's totally up to you and your dedication and which phase of your preparation you are in but yeah this is what i wanted to inform you about the 7 day plan right okay thank you so much for joining study well and i will be meeting you for a life cycle session i'll update by the end of today ke wo kab karenge session right